What's up, beautiful people? How are you guys doing? I'm doing good. It's uh, 9 p.m., I think. Had a really good day, actually. Actually, I was kind of... I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be in the morning, but still a pretty good day. Um, what I wanted to talk about. Today, I had a conversation with Anastasia, and it was basically a conversation about business. I wanted to run a couple of things by her and ask her a couple of questions because... Um, she knows shit and um, so it was a very you know matter-of-fact conversation you know talking about whatever business advice or whatever um, actually I started doing an outreach um, campaign through my LinkedIn automation so kind of went over that so that's the thing I'm currently trying out um, and we we went over the script but um, what I wanted to talk about, which I realized is interesting, is that somewhere during that conversation, I got triggered. Um, I, you know, I, I guess I didn't feel about, feel good about a certain answer that, he gave, that she gave to a certain question that I asked her. And um, these things often go unnoticed, right? Where we go to someone and we have a conversation about whatever trivial, simple, matter of fact, you know, topic that is not anything personal, where it's not about like, you know, what we're doing wrong. Um, and then we like, I realized it. And even if you realize it, it's still hard to admit. You're like, no, I'm not triggered. like whatever that other person says is just stupid or that other person is just annoying. Like, it's not my fault. That other person is, you know, it's, it's their fault. They're annoying. They're talking too much. They're not saying the right things. They're saying something that doesn't make sense. Um, but I realized it and we talked about it and we actually worked through what it was that triggered me. And um, I don't think it makes too much sense to go into detail because it's so, like, individual. Um, actually, for me, it was that I shared something that I was super excited about, like some idea I had about um, some strategy I could use to um, reach out to people. And um, f for me, I didn't share it to get advice or to get an answer from her. It was just something that I was excited about and I, would, I wanted to share something that I was excited about with her. I wanted to share the excitement. But obviously we were, the, the kind of like the theme of us getting together was me asking her for advice and asking questions. So she Im immediately went into, you know, poking holes into that idea and asking me questions and giving advice, giving some other ideas of what I could do differently. And that triggered me and I got, I guess, a bit annoyed or whatever. Um, and um, yeah, it was just because like I was excited and I guess I was expecting her to just share my excitement. You know, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, this is so cool. And I just wanted her to say like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is really cool. And that's it. I actually didn't want advice or feedback or questions on it. And so once she poked holes into that, I'm like, you say my, you know, my inner child was like, wait, you're saying my idea isn't as great as I thought it was? And um, that's just an interesting dynamic, you know, to notice. But I think that is very individual, right? It's very individual, like what are the things that trigger us? What are the things that kind of annoy us? What are the things that, you know, we're dealing with that we're projecting onto the other person and we're assuming they should be saying things differently or should know us better or should know what to say. Um, so that's very individual, but I think what I really want to talk about is like, in every conversation, even if it's a very trivial conversation about asking some advice about, you know, writing, a script for an automation for LinkedIn, there is still potential to learn something about yourself, to learn something about how you react to other people, to learn something about you know what what expectations you have from other people. You know you can learn something about the things you really want to hear and that your inner child wants to hear. And so I'm super, I guess, grateful and excited that. I have this relationship with Anastasia where, 
you know, where we can be aware of these things and talk about these things and work through these things and realize, okay, what was it and how can we mitigate it in the future, you know? And, um, you know, now it's, we talked about like next time I have something that I just want to share and, you know, you know, I just want to share because I'm excited about and I don't want to hear feedback or questions or have holes poked into it, then I frame it in that way, right? And then I say, hey, this is something that I'm really excited about. And also she shared that she actually was super excited for me, for that idea that I shared. That's the reason why she asked all these questions. And like, that's something that I wasn't aware of, right? It's like, you're poking holes, holes into my idea. You're, you're, you're saying things I should do differently. You're giving me advice. So you don't think it's that great, but actually like for her, that's a sign that she actually likes it and that she's curious about it and that she wants to, you know, proof test it. So the bigger theme of this video, I guess, is not about me getting triggered. The bigger theme of this video is not about, you know, what annoys me or, you know, me trying to get advice. This video is not about all of these things. It's just realizing that in every conversation with your friends, with your family, with your partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever, even if it's like a trivial, boring conversation, there's always potential to learn something about yourself and your partner and improve on it. You just gotta notice how you feel, how you react, do you get triggered, do you get annoyed, do you get super excited about something randomly? Trying to figure out what it is that annoyed you, that triggered you, accepting that, and then trying to establish processes that prevent you from getting triggered or annoyed the next time, or that enable you to get more excited the next time. Sorry for this ram video, but I thought that's kind of like interesting. It's a ramble video, but whatever. We're doing ramble videos for now for a while because they excite me and I love doing them. And so that's it. Let me know. Is there any question I can ask you guys about that? I guess, I guess whether this video made sense. Let me know if this video made sense because it probably didn't. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow and peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up